For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to find the slope and equation of tangent line and normal line of a curve at the given point. And what are the things that we need to remember? The slope of tangent line is perpendicular to the slope of the normal line. If we are going to find the equation of the tangent line, we are going to use the given slope. And if we are going to find the equation of the normal line, we are going to use the perpendicular slope. So let's have an example. On number 1, find the equation of the tangent line and normal line to the curve y equals 3x minus x squared at 2 comma 2. Since we have a value for x and y, all we have to do is to differentiate this one and substitute the value of x. So let us have y equals 3x minus x squared. Let us have y prime is equal to 3 minus the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And then let us substitute the value of x. So slope is equal to 3 minus 2 multiplied by 2. So the slope will be 3 minus 4, that is negative 1. And if you are going to find the equation of the tangent line, we are going to use point slope, and that is y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. And then let us substitute the given slope and the given point, that is y minus 2 equals negative 1 multiplied by x minus 2. And to simplify, y minus 2 equals negative x plus 2. And then let us move negative 2 on the other side. It will give us y equals negative x plus 2 plus 2. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals negative x plus 4. Now, if we are going to find the equation of the normal line, we are going to get the perpendicular slope of the given slope. So since the slope is negative 1, we are going to get the negative reciprocal of this one. So perpendicular slope will be positive 1. And let us have 2 comma 2, so this will be x sub 1 and y sub 1. And let us have point slope form, that's y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. And then, let us have y minus 2 equals 1 multiplied by x minus 2. It will give us y minus 2 equals x minus 2. Let us move this one on the other side. Let us have y equals x minus 2 plus 2. So y is equal to x. So this will be our answer. So this will be the equation of the normal line and this will be the equation of the tangent line. And this will be the slope of tangent line and this will be the slope of the normal line. On example number 2, find the equation of the tangent line and normal line to the curve y equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5 at x equals 2. Since we don't have a value for y, the first step that we're going to do is to find the value of y in this equation. So let us have y equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. And then let us substitute the value of x, that is 2. Let us have 2 raised to 3 minus 4 times 2 raised to 2 plus 5. 2 raised to 3, that is 8. And then let us have negative 4. Multiply by 2 raised to 2, that's 4, plus 5. So this will be 8 minus negative 4 times 4, that is negative 16, plus 5. 8 minus 16, that is negative 8, plus 5, that is negative 3. So the value of y is negative 3. And then, let us find the derivative of this equation to find the slope of the tangent line. So let us have y equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5. So let us have y prime. The derivative of x cubed, that is 3x squared. The derivative of negative 4x squared, that is negative 8x. And the derivative of 5, that is 0. So the slope will be 3 times the value of x, that is 2, 
raised to 2 minus 8 times 2. Let us add 3 times 2 raised to 2, that's 4. Negative 8 times 2, that is negative 16. 3 times 4, that is 12 minus 16. So that is negative 4. So this will be the slope of the tangent line. So let us find first the equation of the tangent line. So let us have point slope form, that is y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So the value of y, that is negative 3, so this will be y plus 3 equals negative 4 times x minus 2. So this will be y plus 3 equals negative 4x plus 8. Let us move 3 on the other side. It will give us y equals negative 4x plus 8 minus 3. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals negative 4x plus 5. And then, let us find the equation of the normal line. Since the slope, that is negative 4, the perpendicular slope is positive 1 fourth. That is the negative reciprocal of negative 4. So let us have point 2, negative 3. So this will be x sub 1 and y sub 1. So let us have y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So this will be y plus 3 equals 1 fourth times x minus 2. So let us simplify. Let us have 4y plus 12, that's 4 times 3, equals x minus 2. So let us move 12 on the other side. It will give us 4y equals x minus 2 plus or minus 12. So this will be 4y equals x minus 14. And then let us divide both sides by 4. Let's cancel this one. So y is x over 4. So we can write negative 14 over 4 as negative 7 over 2 because they are divisible by 2. So this will be the equation of the normal line. On example number 3, at what point of the parabola y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1 if the tangent line parallel to x minus y equals 2? So how can we answer this kind of question? So the first step that we're going to do is to find the slope of the tangent line using 2x minus y equals 2. So let us have 2x minus y equals 2. So let us write this one in slope intercept form. So that's negative y equals negative 2x plus 2. Let us multiply by negative 1. It will give us y equals 2x minus 2. So the slope of the tangent line that is positive now, in order for us to find the point of the parabola, let us equate the slope to the first derivative of y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. So let us have y prime, the derivative of x squared, that is 2x, the derivative of negative 4x, that is negative 4, and the derivative of 1, that is 0. So let us equate this equation to the value of slope, that is 2 equals 2x minus 4. Let us move on the other side. It will give us 2 plus 4 equals 2x. So 2x is 6. Divide both sides by 2. So the value of x, that is 3. And then, let us find the value of y using the original equation that is x squared minus 4x plus 1. So this will be 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 1. 3 squared, that's 9. Negative 4 times 3, that's 12. Negative 12 plus 1. So this will be 9 minus 12, that is negative 3 plus 1, that is negative 2. So the point is 3 comma negative 2. Now, if you are going to find the equation of the tangent line, let us have y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus 
x sub 1. So this will be x sub 1, y sub 1. So let us have y. Since the value of y sub 1 is negative 2, this will be positive 2 equals 2 times x minus 3. So this will be y plus 2 equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. Let us move 2 on the other side. It will give us y equals 2x minus 6 minus 2. So the equation of the tangent line is y equals 2x minus 8. Now, let us find the equation of the normal line. Since the slope, that is 2, the perpendicular slope will be the negative reciprocal of 2, that is negative 1 half. So this will be y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. So let us have y minus y sub 1, that is positive 2, and then negative 1 half x minus 3. So let us multiply 2 on y plus 2. This will be 2y plus 4 equals negative x plus 3. And then let us move 4 on the other side. It will give us 2y equals negative x plus 3 minus 4. So let us simplify. 2y equals negative x. 3 minus 4, that's negative 1. So, so let us have 2y equals negative x minus 1. Let us divide both sides by 2. Let's cancel this one. So y is negative x over 2 minus 1 half. So this will be the equation of the normal line. So I hope you've learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.